Okay. The next question is, how do you insert into a single linked list, right? In a singly linked list. I'll write singly linked list as SLL. So how do you insert into a singly linked list? So at the very beginning, at the very beginning, at the very start, what you do is this. So for example, this is where the whole program starts, right? At int main. I'll initialize my head pointer or head reference, if it's a case of C++ or Java, to null. Because I don't have, at the very beginning, at the very start, I have my head pointing to null. Because I don't have a linked list to start with. I don't even have anything in my playlist. So this is what I start off with, right? Very important, right? I have a pointer to structure node. It's all pointing to null. At the very beginning, this is what the situation is. Now, when I want to add things to, uh, when I want to add something to this singly linked list, let me go through some examples here. I'll go through code so that it's easier for you to understand. I'll also draw diagrams for you, right? So let's assume I want to add at the very beginning. So let's assume this is what I have. My head is pointed to null. This is one case, right? This is one case. The other case that you have here is you have head, right? That is pointing to some element which is again pointing to another element, which is, let's say, pointing to a third element, which is, let's say, pointing to null. Okay, let's assume this is song with ID 13, 6 and 12. Both cases are possible, right? Very important. Now, if I want to insert a new node at the beginning, this is important, right? So what do I want to do? Suppose I want to insert a new node at the very beginning of the list or at the very beginning of the playlist, right? So, for example, if I have my playlist like this, right, my playlist could be empty, right, and I want to add something here at the very beginning. This is one case. Second case is in my playlist, I already have three songs. I have song 13, I have song 6, and I have song uh, 12, right. Now, if I want to add something at the very beginning, right, this is where my head is pointing to now. This is where my head is pointing to, right. And this points to this and this points to this. Okay. And this points to null. Right. There is nothing here. If I want to add something to the very beginning of my playlist, what do I do? Or the very beginning of my linked list, what do I do? The code here is very, very straightforward. Right. Let's, let's go through the code. Okay. First, what I do here is I create a temp. So let's look at this function first. Let's look at this function. Okay. This function basically has two inputs or two parameters that are passed to it. The first one is the pointer to the head. Uh, without that, you can't do anything because head is where head tells you where the whole linked list is, right? So this could be my linked list, right? And this is pointing to, let's say, null. Let's assume this is 13, 6, and 12. This is one case. The other one is head is pointing to nothing. Now, and this is the new data that I want to insert at the very beginning. So this function is insert at beginning, right? So let's assume I want to insert a new song with ID 25 at the very beginning. What do I do? First, I create a temporary pointer. Look at this. What am I doing here? I'm creating temp. I'm creating a temp, which is a point. What is the data type of temp? It's a pointer to structure node. Right? First, first line. Second line. Now, I'm using malloc in C. What does malloc do? malloc basically within your RAM, it will allocate new space for you, right? What am I saying? Allocate memory. malloc basically means memory allocate. Allocate some memory in my RAM, which is of the size of node. So allocate a node in my RAM. That's what it's saying, right? Now for this memory, make my temp, my temp. See, look at this malloc. I have this malloc here. I'm now typecasting the whole thing. I'm now changing the type of this malloc, type of this, whatever the malloc returns to a structured node pointer and I'm making temp equals to this. What does it mean? I'm making temp point to a new node. This node is called, this, this is a new node in my, so this is a new node. So I'm creating a new node in my memory. In my RAM, I'm creating a new node and that node is now pointed by temp. Now what I'm saying, temp.info equals to data. What is my data? My data is 25. So this, this block or this node that I have has info, right? And link just like the, because that's the structure of a node, right? 
in the info part temp info i am saying place data what is data data is 25 next line temp link equals to head right what am i saying now this link because i can store an address here make this address equal to head what what does that do that basically links because head is pointing to this look at this head is pointing to 13 if i make temp link this line is very important if i make temp link equals to head what does it mean whatever is the link say temp arrow mark link is equal to head suppose for example head was storing the address of this let's say the address of this was 1212 okay head was actually storing this now i made that address i copied this address into link which means what happens now this will now start pointing here these arrow marks are only drawn for our ease of understanding right that's very very important there are no arrow marks in memory there are only values stored here and i'm just drawing them to help us understand right so this is good next what happens so this line is also done what is the next line head equal to temp now what happens look at this now because head equals to temp head will stop pointing here and now head will start pointing to this node because let's assume the address of this let's assume the address of this is 1562 temp initially had 1562 right because of this line because of this line because whatever new memory i allocated i stored it address in temp now when i make head equals to temp what happens head will no more have the value of 1212 head will have the value of let me erase this head will now have the value of 1562 head will now have the value of 1562 now look at what happens to my array my uh, sorry my linked list sorry now let's see how, wh what happens to my linked list right the moment i return so it says return head it will return head for me okay this temp is a temporary variable that i created within this function which means as soon as i go out of this function this will this will stop existing right so this will this will be gone as soon as i go out this will be gone right now look at my linked list now my initial linked list was 13 my this was my initial linked list right this was my initial linked list 13 6 12 null now using these five line code in c what is my new linked list head is pointing to 25 the link in 25 is pointing to 13 which is pointing to 6 which is pointing to 12 right look at this. this this is this is my new linked list what is the first element in this linked list 25 and what did this function what did we want to do with this function we wanted to insert a new song or a new item or a new node with info as 25 at the very beginning that's what we exactly did so the beauty of linked lists is it, they're extremely easy to understand because of this diagrammatic representation. They're extremely easy to understand and visualize. And just using pointer notation in C or using references in Java or Python, they're extremely easy to understand. Okay, the reason linked lists are so easy to understand is because of this nice diagrammatic representation. Extremely simple and fun. Okay, so this is how you insert something at the very beginning. Now the next question is, how do you insert at the end? Let's look through a function for that also. Okay. Again, suppose I have this, suppose I have head, right? I have head that is pointing to 13, which is again pointing to, let's say, 6, which is, let's say, okay, let me write it down here. Let's say, which is pointing to uh, 12. And this is pointing to, let's say, null. Okay. Now, the question here is, I want to now insert at the end. This is not the beginning. This is the end right so let's see how do we do it the first step is see i only have the head pointer here i don't have a pointer to the tail okay if i have only a pointer to the head how do i insert to the end okay logically let's see logically what we do you would start with head you would go to the next node you'll use this pointer to go to the next node you'll go use this pointer to go to the next node until you see null when you see null, you add one more element here or one more node here. That's a logical way of doing it, right? So let's see the code way of doing it. Again, I'm given the head pointer. 
and the new data let's assume the new data that i want to add at the very end has 25 very similar i'm creating a i'm creating a structure i'm creating a new node right i'm creating a new node here i'll call that so temp is the pointer to this node or the reference if it's not c right i am memory allocating whatever is a whatever is the size of this node right this has info and data within info i'm placing 25 Sorry, it has info and uh, link, right? So this is the info section. This is the link section, right? So what am I doing in this line? My 25 is what I want to add at the end. So in temp info equals to data. So temp info equals to 25. Next, temp link equals to null. So I am now going to point this to null, right? Very simple. Okay, next I'm creating a new pointer here look at this i'm creating a new pointer here called p okay i'll make my p equals to head which means p will point to this this line okay p is going to point to this if p what does this mean it means as long as p is not equal to null that's what this means right in c programming language if p basically means as long as p is not equal to null okay and p is not equal to null if p basic p is not equal to null right then what am i doing here there is this while loop here look at this while loop what does this while loop say while p link is not equal to null p equals to p link what does it mean p link p link is not equal to null right so this condition is satisfied then p equals to p link okay what happens now what is p arrow link p arrow link is this this value right if, if I make p equals to this value, what happens? My p will stop pointing to this and my p will start pointing to the next element. My p will now point to the next element. Look at this. This is the important step here. Okay. p equals to p link. So initially my p was here. p link was this value, this memory look, this memory address. Now when I made p equals to p link, my p will point here. Right. Next, this loop will continue. Right? This is a while loop. Now is p link p link is this is p link null no it is pointing to something else so what does it say now p will be made equal to p link whatever wherever this is pointing p will now point here so this 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 will this will be left and this will go here now again the for loop in the while loop what happens now while p link is not equal to null p link here is null so it will come off this while loop is over now what it says here is p link equals to temp what does that mean look at this look at this line p link so now p is pointing to this what is p link p link is this this part it says p link equals to temp so make this p link okay point to this because temp is pointing here p link will point here okay p is continuing to point here but p link is going to point here okay very simple this is the if case there is an else case what does the else case mean else case is at the very beginning itself what at the very beginning this is one case right now look, look at what happens at the end of this whole thing at the end of this whole thing i'll come to the else case in a second okay at the end of this whole thing my p is i don't have to worry about p because p is defined and declared within this function i don't have to worry about temp right so what is my final structure this null is no more there so i have inserted 25 at the end right head 13 6 pointer 12 25 null i've done that okay what is this else case see before the else case p was pointing to head p is equal to head now if head itself is pointing to null which means there is nothing to start with if head is pointing to null which means there is no linked list itself then it says head equals to temp then what happens if there is nothing if, if if the whole okay let me erase this okay at the very beginning let's say we said p equals to head and the, this else case this else case will happen if p equals to null because if p basically means if p is not equal to null so this is the if and this is the else part of it when will we go to the else part if p equals to null which means head equals to null right if head equals to null what's happening there is no linked list to start with in such a situation what do i do 
important right i've already created a node okay which is pointed by temp which has 25 and null i already have this if i have nothing in my linked list what do i do i make my head equals to temp i make my head equals to temp that's it problem solved now i have a linked list which has just one element so we have to handle both these cases now one important thing that you have to understand here is when i was inserting at the very beginning right when i was inserting at the very beginning what was my time complexity what was my time complexity when i have to insert at the beginning it was order of one because look at this there are no for loops here there is no recursion here right each of them is a constant time step i've just readjusted my pointers carefully that's it there is no recursion there is no for loop so it's an order of one uh, time complexity stuff what happens here when I have to insert at the end, look at this, when I have to insert at the end, right? And I have only head pointer. I do not have a tail pointer. I do not have a tail pointer. If I only have head pointer and if the length of the linked list is n elements, the time it takes me to insert at the very end is order of n. That's because I have to iterate through. Look at this for loop. Look at this while loop, sorry. Using this while loop, rest everything is constant time these all are constant time right this while loop is helping me go from the head to the first node to the second node it keeps going on till the time i reach the last node and if there are n nodes or n elements in my linked list right this iterative loop itself takes order of n time right so inserting at the end if i only have head pointer is order of n right imagine if i have a tail pointer what happens let's take an example diagrammatically without code you can understand this this is very simple stuff right okay let's assume i have this let's assume this is null this is my head pointer let's assume i also have a tail pointer okay suppose if i want to insert this element now let's assume this is 13 6 12 let's assume this is 25 right this is a new element that i created if I want to insert at the end, if I have the tail pointer, this is important. If I already have the tail pointer, what can I do? Very simple. Wherever the tail is pointing to, right? See, I, I can do this, right? Tail, right? Tail, link. What does tail link mean? This part. I'll make tail link point to temp, right? I'll just make tail link equals to temp. What happens then? Then this will point to this. Right? That's it. My problem is solved. And I'll make tail equals to temp. So now tail will point here. Tail will no more point here. That's it. My problem is solved. With two lines of logical code, that's all I have to do, right? Because if ta if I have tail pointer, I don't I don't have to iterate through each of these nodes. So if I have tail pointer, inserting at the end is still a constant time complexity problem but if i don't have a tail pointer if i only have the head pointer then the time to insert at the end is order of n if i have n elements in the array 